Hello, we're back and talking about uh, doing your language analysis task for VCE. One of the most important things you need to do before you start writing is to understand what the issue is that's in the text that you're responding to or that you're describing and what the contention is of that piece. The first thing that you should do is read the whole piece. Sometimes you'll be able to get it out of the headline and certainly the examples I've been using here you can get it out of the headline. But generally speaking, for assessment tasks, you will have to dig a bit deeper. So don't just stare at it. It's not going to say, my contention is X. It's not going to be that simple. Don't scan the article for the word contention. You will need to read the whole piece and work out what the reader is, having, is trying to get you to believe. Now, this shouldn't be terribly difficult, to be quite honest. I understand that lots of students feel like this is mysterious, but it's not all that hard. Read the whole piece. Look for repetition of ideas. If somebody is going on about the same, you know, the same phrase again and again, then there's a pretty good idea that that phrase either sums up the issue or the contention. So have a look through it, see what it is. So the first thing is you need to establish what the issue is. It's important for you to understand what the general issue is because in a sophisticated response, the type you're going to want to do in year 12, you're going to want to introduce the issue and explain what various sides of it are and how long it's been around for and perhaps who the major players are in it. You can do yourself a massive favour in Year 12 by reading the newspaper, just the first five pages of the newspaper every day and just read the major articles so that you know who's involved in things and what the general issues of the day are about. Once you've done that, you're looking for contentions. Now, I know that lots of students find contentions really vexatious, but in actual fact, there really are only two possible contentions. One is that the particular thing to do with the issue is good and you should support it. So in the examples I'm using, um, my contention for some of them is that we're, uh, Mayor McBuckle should in fact be building this new bridge for our town and you should support him building that. And the other is that it's bad and you should stop it. Now, sometimes it's a bit more, you know, it's a bit more abstract than whether somebody's building a bridge. The thing that is good might be freedom of speech or the thing that's bad might be taxation. But you know what? You guys have actually been doing this in your oral presentations. Some of you have said, you know, the carbon tax is a waste of time. So your issue is the carbon tax and your contention is it's bad and you should stop it. Somebody today did one on um, how animals are killed to make products. Again, this practice of killing animals is bad and you should try and stop it. Um, somebody else did one that Essendon was going to win the flag. So Essendon is good and you should, you know, you should feel good about them going to win the flag. So think about what, they, what they're against and what they're for and that will help you find your contention. So... For instance, in this made-up example, Mayor McBuckle wastes money on, us, on unnecessary bridge to nowhere. The issue here is obviously about the bridge that Mayor McBuckle has decided to build. And I would think, I hope it's fairly obvious from the headline, the words waste money and unnecessary and bridge to nowhere, because of course a useful bridge would be to somewhere, that the contention is that the writer is against Mayor McBuckle's bridge. In this one, McBuckle builds a bridge to a new future for our town. That positive phrase, um, phrase about building a bridge, which has kind of got positive connotations, and a new future. This positive language um, suggests that, in fact, this writer is in favour of McBuckle's bridge. So there you go. It's very important that you understand what the issue is and what the contention is, because that's something you need to tell your reader, and it also will just help you deal with the article. If you don't know what point they're trying to make, you're in real trouble. Okay, I'm going to come back in the next video and I'm going to talk about tone.